Mini Kaizo Bros 3. This is my ROM hack. 2019, I made it. As soon as you press start, what do you hear? This is my world one. Look at Mario's got a little house. First level, the intro to Kaizo's. This is very easy, this is not tough. I just suck. I'm actually glad that this isn't very easy for me, because it makes it fun, like... There we go. Now, I'm pretty sure this has the ugly World 5 that I updated. So that was the first level, just kind of like an intro. As you can see, quick resets. No, I was supposed to grab a block. Crap. No. No, I so I need to land. I need to land on that platform. There we go. No, I almost had it. <gasps> Man, I got nipped. No! Dude, it's actually kind of fun to go back and play my old ROM hack. You gotta use him, he goes back and forth up the clouds, you gotta use him to destroy it. Oh, look at the castle! Super Mario World! Come on, I gotta add some fun stuff. No, the ghost! No! Oh my god, I made it. Go, 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 go. Sorry guys, no off-screen wand grab. Mitch, your world record is pathetic. One hour, 12 minutes, and 45 seconds. Pathetic, bro, I made this hack, okay? And also, it is bad etiquette to speedrun your own ROM hack. You guys excited for World 2 now? World 2 is pretty cool. Did you guys notice the death counter? No, so close. This is not Mario 3. Yes, it is. Oh, so close. Well, I added the extra stage, too. Nice. This is what people did before. Hey, this is 2019. This is after Mario Maker. Oh God. I have to remember what to do in this level. So I'm gonna be here for like 10 minutes, right?
Why do I always have to do this weird ass shit in these ROM hacks? Oh, I wasn't even close there. Damn it, this is too hard, guys. Whoa! <laughs> I cleared it! Oh my god. I've never done it like that before, Haxer. Yo, this level's sick. Alright, you guys ready? Kaizo, man, I forgot about my own fucking Kaizo block. Damn it. You guys want to see a big troll that I made in this? All right, check this out. You guys ready? <laughs> Normally you hit the P switch. Yeah. You hit the P switch to make them go away, but you don't need to. The reason why this is a big troll is because you hit the P switch, finish the level, you get your music box, and you carry on. But if you do this, How does that even happen? A secret! Look at that! And now look! Watch, this is really cool. Like in Super Mario World! That's sick! Just like Super Mario World. That took a long time for that to work. There's no Mario 3 ROM hack that builds paths from secrets. The reason why we wanted to add something like that in is so we could put mushroom houses on the world and make it seem like you can't get to them, but there's secrets to get to them. I really, really like that. It's one of my favorite things. Oh, not this shit. Not this shit. What was- oh no, the strat was... You gotta go far- you have to go far enough outward, I think. Like that or something. And then you come back. No? I don't have a star, you frigs. It's not there! Kill this one. There we go. All right, you guys, you guys are going to recognize this name very well. Okay, so the way this boss battle works is that there's a platform here, but then there's, there's no platform on the next one. The way you do this battle is that when you first stomp a Boom Boom, he will then run around and then jump, and then you use, you use his jump uh, to beat it. But you have to get good RNG, which is really annoying. Here we go. There we go, see that? And then we got him right here. Very cool. Too early. No, I thought it was the inside one, but it's the outside one, that's right. Is Yoshi in the hack? No, but there's a dog in the hack. The hardest part of this level is this Goomba drop right here. <gasps> there is a custom boss in this game. What? A custom boss in Mario 3? Yeah, that's right. We expanded the ROM. How do you guys feel about that? See, now I'm too scared of it. Oh, hey, look at that! Big fortress. But what is this tile right here? I. You guys, for information. You need the code to break the final lock. I don't know what that means. And why is there a pipe right there? What's that pipe right there for? I can't believe you imported Ornstein and Smo into Mario 3. That's so funny. All right, we'll be able to see if this is the um, updated version.
I don't think this is the updated version, though. Oh my god. Which sucks, because that means this has the ugly... That means this has the ugly world, um... World 4. Like, really ugly. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. For time's sake purposes, we're gonna save state in this level because it has a very hard trick and I've actually recently updated it. Oh, come on. Nice ROM hack, Mitch. That's it. That's what you do. Dude, there's not even a Kaizo block. Wait. Yeah, we're just save stating so we can get to world three. Nice. We ride the tower. Yeah, I'm playing beta like 1.0. It's my ROM hack and I can jump for ones if I want. The last level that I just did was updated massively to make it more... I think it, it makes it better, honestly, the way it is, the way it is now. So World 3 is one of my favorite worlds. There's the boat right there. We got some dope-ass music. The custom music was pretty tough to do as well. I didn't do it, but I had some help. Does anyone know what game this is from? Final Fantasy VII. All right, this level is actual trash. Got a safe state here because this is. Oh, it's so close! Oh, we made it! That's a tough level. Are you guys ready for the souped up boat? Yeah. This may be a good engine. So, what I decided to create in World 3 was an open world concept. You can go and do whatever you want. But you just have to collect enough hammers and break the lock to get. Yep, I made this ROM hack. So we set it up so that this hammer bro, so this mushroom house will give me a hammer, okay? So your odds are based on how many coins you have. So the more coins you have, the higher chance you have of finding the item in the chest. I made it kind of, you know, for speedrunners. Overall, if you're in the middle of your run and you have a high coin count, you're probably gonna wanna come to the mushroom house first so you don't have to worry about it. As you can see, I have seven coins, so my odds are extremely low to get the to get the hammer item. So I got to come back later. And a way that I prevent soft locking, I kind of mess with you, and I give you this pipe right here, which is. <laughs> If you beat all the levels and you haven't done the Mushroom House, this is your only chance to collect coins. And I only give you like 7 or 10 coins here or something. Now I'm at 25 coins. So we could go try the Mushroom House again. My percent chance right now is probably in the 15s, the 20s. And I can keep trying it over and over again, but I just waste time, right? I might as well do the levels and farm the coins. My odds are too low right now. So the fortress is the easiest. We'll get rid of the fortress first. And I made sure to sprinkle some coins around. Nice. If you don't pixel it, you'll fall through. You guys want level three? Level three, I think, is one of the hardest. Oh. No, I'm supposed to grab it. Fuck. No! No! Watch my coins? Ooh, good call, good call. Yeah, let me know when I gotta go back 
to the mushroom house. Yes! We're out! My coin count. There we go. Nice. So I had more coins, so I had a higher chance of getting it. Very nice. You guys are definitely going to know this style of level. This one's tough. Nice. We got it. Alright, here comes everyone's favorite level. This level is just great. I created a gimmick that allows you to jump on chain chomps. Original version, I know. No, he jumped to the next one, that asshole. What? I didn't think that one was gonna go right through. No, I was too high, dude. This is fucking impossible. No, it's not impossible. I almost beat it already a couple times. Damn it, I knew he was gonna be in the center there. The quick resets also make this kind of bearable. It has a very steep le learning curve at the start. But it's super annoying how fun it is, so it's hard to get mad at it. Oh, that was it! The classic up pipe, man. I'm pretty sure I changed something like like, uh, like these stairs. Nice. Sick. Tough stuff, but that's really fun. Do a little safe state here. Oh! There we go. That's the fortress level. But then you have Wendy, which is really bad. Wendy is by far the hardest uh, Koopa Kid boss in this game. As long as you get that. Oh, we're good. And off screen wand grab. Oh, I suck. Prepare yourselves, everyone. I have changed the way this world looks for the better. Don't ask. I don't know what I was thinking when I designed this world. Yeah, I don't know what this, what was I thinking? Look at this. What is this? Mazes and shit? What is this, maze land? The updated world looks much better. Desert got dark, looks like marsh? Kind of, yeah, it's, it's not the worst. Level one. I don't think I can do it. No. So you have to get the midair jump off of the spinners, which is like a pretty common... There we go. There we go. Do a little safe state here. I, sh I should be good. Oh, a secret? A secret just for me, Mitch? Don't worry, I got you guys with the secrets. Well, you guys didn't notice the coins? You guys didn't notice the coins? Little secret! Very cool! <gasps> Extra hammer for the speedrunners, because I'm so nice. Alright, so, this sand trap right here beside me, it's just like the hands. Except the twister comes in and takes me. 
And then they're just like mini levels. This one is fucked though. I don't know how I feel about this level. This level stresses me out. No! Oh my god, that was so close. Oh, look, we didn't get pulled in. We'll do the level anyways. Nice. No, I suck. Nice. All right, next level. This level is stupid hard. Do I throw it under? The reason this hack is called Mini Kaizo Bros 3 is because the level concepts themselves are small levels. I don't know if you've noticed. Oh, I throw before I touch the Goomba. That's, that's why I can't make the distance. Ah, yes. Alright, welcome to my jank. Boss here. You guys ready? Fuck. 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 Damn it! Damn it! He just went ape shit mode! No, why did he have. No! Oh! Yes! No. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. What? Two. No, he summoned a thwomp, you son of a bitch. No! What am I at three? Oh. oh my god. His fucking magic wand, man. It summons those swamps, dude. No, no, come back. No, not like that, you at No! <laughs> no, I was too slow. Oh, fine, one. Two. Three. Yo, we spam the three! No, the one top fireball has to be so high. One. Two. What? This is why you don't bounce on him. This is why you don't try and cheese him, dude. Oh, I forgot to tell you, that ground pound stuns you if you're not that right there. If you're if you're on the ground. Uh, it's seven hits. Nice one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. No. Seven. Oh, man. Holy crap. That's a, I love that boss. It's a custom boss on an NES game, okay? It's a little weird. Sometimes things flicker and flash and it's, you know, it's hard to tell what's going on, right? But I love that. Um, that gives you a warp whistle when you beat him. You take your warp whistle, you go to the warp zone. Then when you go out of the warp zone, the world six. Nighttime desert. I, if you want to look at it as space, sure. And I actually thought of the idea to make the top three lines like the sky. It doesn't look stupid, right? It kind of, it kind of makes sense, right? It works. The most impossible Kaizo block. I gotta get in there. 
fuck that Kaizo block? Who put that there? So I have to essentially fight against the Lakitu here. Oh my god, stop clipping on the wall. I can't remember, but I think I killed the Lakitu. Because he just definitely gets in the way. No, not that. There we go. So from, from the people who helped me make this ROM hack, I actually let one of the people who helped me create their own level and put it in the ROM hack, and I'm pretty sure this is his level. No, not- oh my god, I forgot about this level. Oh my god. And it's not updated either. So, I thought it would be really funny to see what it'd be like if I gave the Goomba Shoe max speed. I don't think the NES can process anything going any faster than what I made this Goomba Shoe go. Alright, here we go. So, <laughs> it's very, it's, this level has, has an actual way to do it with the speed. So it's not like, it's not like this level's like super cheap or anything like that. It, it, it like actually works with like the Goomba Shoe. I don't, do I, I can't remember. I think I hit the music note. I do, I hit, I hit that, and then... So what's happening is I'm going so fast that I'm constantly hitting the wall jump pixel. There we go. Alright, so here we go. This is the... There's nothing over there, I remember that. But I can, um, so if I hold forward, you can see the Goomba Shoe. Because I'm bouncing in the air, I don't build P-Speed. But I'm going so fast that if I let go of the D-Pad, I can build P-Speed. Isn't that weird? Okay, here we go. Nice. So for anyone who doesn't know, the inside of lava does not actually hurt you. It is literally just the top pixel of lava. Let me show you. If I jump, I die. And jump on top, I die. That's why I made this. It allows me to like get through it all. Pretty cool stuff. And that's in the original game. I didn't set it like that. Okay, so this is the level that was created by someone who helped me make this ROM hack. And they probably should have made the block before I started building momentum, which is really annoying. Oh, I forgot about that. I need to throw the shell in there to get the jump off of it. Oh. I was like expecting the end level card, but there was no end level card. What? There's a level up there, in space! Oh god. No, he flies. Trust me, you cannot do P-Switch jumps and kill him. Oh!
Oh my god, I forgot about this level. Dude, Haxer, what the fuck, man? I forgot about this level. I don't get the mushroom, man. No, not there. I think I get the mushroom at the plant and I throw it damage boost. The mushroom's a troll? Okay, okay, now I remember, yep, okay. So for anyone wondering, unless a shell falls down on top of you, or unless you grab it from the sides, underwater you can't actually stomp or touch shells. So like right here, if I go on top of it, I take damage. I despawned it, no? So then I have to pop the shell like that to stop it, then grab it. Nice. So I can skip that level, but I mean, we'll do it just so you guys can see it. Yep, I remember this level. Do I pop them or do I wrap around? I can't remember. I'll find out. Level four, we left out in space. That's right. Save state. Oh, I knew it. Wow. I don't know where any Kaizo blocks are, but I know where that Kaizo block is. And I know where that Kaizo block is. Boom! What? A path was created? Oh! Pog, yeah! Thanks, game! Okay, hold on. I'm gonna save state, because this part can be probably... Ooh. Okay, we'll save state here. Oh. It's tight. Oh! I forgot about that. Yeah, you can just jump right through. Whee! Ah, uh, this jump. Oh, I could just do that. I forgot. Save state. Oh, it's so close. See, these levels are short, so when you die a lot, it doesn't seem so punishing. That's why I call it Mini Kaizo Bros 3, because it allows me to put semi, like, really tight things in a small level. So, yeah. So, now the fortress. Yeah. Alright, there's no way you guys remember this song. And just wait, there is a big juicy surprise at the end of the hack, too. Something from Mega Man? Nope, you guys have not guessed it correctly yet. All right, so this level has three sand traps in it. This is a smaller world. This one has three sand traps, which are three quick, uh, like, kind of trial-like levels. And this is the one where you get trapped, this version. Oh, there's one. Oh, this level. I think I wanted the player to keep peace speed here. Yeah, I like that. Oh, sick! I totally forgot about that. Alright, this is the last one. Nice! On the last trial. Alright, so this level is, I think, very difficult. Yes. Fast auto scroller with Fire Flower. And you can't kill anything, I forgot about that. That's right, I set it so that you can't kill anything with fire.
Yeah, we're gonna save state. It's the hard part, I think, right? Oh, come on! Yeah, there's a cheese here. Yes. All right. Uh, this is a really cool level. I forgot about this level. But I have Fire Flower, so... And I didn't want to put a damage thing at the start, so... that level a lot. Alright. Uh, I don't know how to do this level. This is tough. I have to like. I remember. I remember this jump. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There we go. And then I have to avoid the Kaizo block. There's a Kaizo block right beside it. No, I was right there. waited too long. You can't focus on it. Well, that's because you're not looking at Mario like I am, right? Anyone playing is going to be looking at Mario the whole time. You guys as the viewer is looking everywhere else but where Mario is because you're not controlling it. Uh, so that gave me a warp whistle. All right. All right, so there is a thing that I implemented in this game, something that I've been hinting towards since the very beginning. And essentially what it is, is that if you died a random number of times between I think 1200 deaths and anything above that, World 8 will lock forever because Bowser consumed too many souls. And with too many souls, he was able to close off World 8 from everyone forever. So essentially you lose, but you get to restart the game over again, obviously. So because I only died 232 times, World 8 is open to me. I can go do World 8 now. That pipe right above me will take you back to World 1. And if you die more than 1,300 times, it's like a random number. When I power on the console, it could be like 1,340 or it could be 1,570. But all I know is it's above like 1,200 or 1,300, which is pretty cool. All right, so level one in World 8 is, uh, I think, oh, it's trials. Kind of trials of things. The death counter resets when you go back to World 1, yes. But now you guys know that gimmick, so it's not a big deal. You have to neutral there. This is actually a big cheese. Yeah, this is a big shortcut, big cheese speedrun strat. And for anyone wondering, I cannot come out of the pipes here. Once I'm in here, I'm in. Do you guys know what song this is? No, this is Dark World Link to the Past. Okay. This level is really hard too, I think. What's the World 7 song? The World 7 song is a uh, song from a Dragon Ball Z game. 
Dragon Ball NES game. I can't remember... I didn't know I didn't have to jump there. No! You guys know how Super Mario World always has a fortress that has five trials? Well, in my game, I put seven. Because it's funny. Easy. They're just trial levels. Oh, this level sucks. But we got it first try. Okay, so this fortress, I think, has seven or eight trials. There's one. Here's two. Here's three. I always forget to go that way. All right, here's four. All right. Oh, no, I'm stuck. No, I gotta be able to jump, right? No, I planned for that. I frigged myself over. There we go. There's a little speed strat for you all. Nice little speed strat. So many trials. All right, this one. All right, this one's the hardest, I think. Oh, shit. Definitely didn't make that. Oh, we just made it. Right on, that's the end, yeah. Doing that fortress of that safe states is very difficult. So here we are, and I cannot get in Bowser's castle. Somewhere randomly in the game, I gave you guys a hint that says, hold B on the lone tree to get power. So when you finally get to this pipe, you see one little bush, and if I hold B right here, I'm holding B. Boom, I got power. And what power means is that, again, more clues that I've been giving you throughout the game is that coins equal power. So what that just did is that gave me 99 coins. You guys wanna go to world seven? I put another heart in too right here. Oh no, I said hi. So we're trying to figure out how to fight Bowser. It doesn't matter, there's no spoilers. So what I did was I secretly hid the code throughout every world in the game. And if you look at the palm trees, you can see in every world when you play them, they give you the code. And since I don't remember the code, I have to go through it. So the first input of the code is the A button. You can see the palm trees are forming an A. World two shows a up arrow. A up down. A up, down up, A up, down up, A, uh, A again, A up, down up, A, A down, A up, down up, A, A down, up, A up, down up, A, A down. I unlocked the code because I'm a genius. If coins equals power, like I've said in the game, then when fighting Bowser, Fireballs 
will equal my power. 255 health, Bowser has. If I had zero coins, I would have to hit Bowser 255 times with fireballs. The more coins I have, the more damage I do. So if I have 99 coins, I probably only have to hit him about 12 times or so. But there's a little trick. During the battle, my coin count is decreasing during the battle. And he's a freaking spaz too. And that's it. And I don't even remember how to fight him. Let's get max power. Hold B on the lone bush. So how do I kill Bowser again? I can't remember. Do I jump on his head? I can't remember. I don't think so. I think I can do that, yeah. I know there's an easy pattern. And then I can just hammer him right there, yeah. I didn't really uh, publicize it all that much. It'd be cool if other Mario gamers played this and like tried to take it seriously and beat it without save states because it has the intentions of save states. Although I have, I have announced like spoilers, uh, but whatever, right? Nice, we got him. And hammers out his ass. I really like this ROM hack. This is one of my favorite things I've ever created. There we go. That is Mitch Flower Power's 2019 Mini Kaizo Bros 3 ROM hack. 